hello everyone so today I'm gonna show you how to implement uh, this uh, aim offset so as you can see when I look up character lo when I look down character looks down when I look to the left character also look at that way see so it's like that and if I try to completely turn character just looks forward because the character can't uh, rotate the upper body 180 degrees without turning to that side but if I look up as you can see here character is also looking up so this this also works when I crouch as well so let's see how to implement this and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me right so at the moment uh, when I look to the left or look to the right character don't really turn that way character just stay looking forward so I want to if I for example if I look at this way character should turn its head maybe slightly the upper body as well to that way to look at that way okay so first thing we need to do that aim offset that's it so that's the first thing we need so we can create it if we go to the skeleton of this character right click create aim offset I'll call it AO mm -hmm. look okay uh, so for that I have already created this uh, imported this uh, aim of uh, animations required for the aim offset so this is the default one and we have this turn left look up look back many poses right so using them we can create a complete aim offset asset so I already create one. No, oh, for that we have to go here. Oh, yeah, actually, I created one here. I'll put it under the same offset look. Okay, uh, now let's open it. Hey, oh, look. right so here and as it is details as the preview base pose let's assign id okay uh, now ah sorry oh look yeah I'll. so we need to name this axis and let's name the horizontal axis as yo because yo is the what uh, angle that we need to change in order to affect that and this one pitch uh, now here I'll for the center let's assign a o c c oh where's the character oh wait before that we need to set the maximum and minimum values so yo that means look to the left and look to the right so as the maximum minimum I'll give 
minus 180 as the maximum I give 180 four divisions should be all right and for look up and down if uh, so zero means looking forward looking completely up that means 90 because we can't uh, rotate 180 degrees in that uh, along the pitch around pitch axis so this should be minimum minus 90 maximum 90 right and here we need to give uh, let's try idle animation as the preview base pose now this one this means we are looking 90 degrees to the right so a o r c why did this change okay see it turns this way now this one here means we are called turning 180 degrees to the right that means we should be completely looking back but uh, for the character it's not possible to do that without turning so therefore if let's say if we look at this way using the camera camera uh, the character should just look forward so we can do it like this if I apply the same CC into here for some reason this keep changing when I add uh, animation here that's why uh, this preview vanishes but let's set it at the end so this should be L LC now the yo part uh, is complete now let's fix these other points so here looking up and here looking down so for that we can use center up and center down Wait why does this get highlighted when I select one if I collapse this it looks like a bug right anyway let's complete this CD center down and the other one is uh, right up and right down this is left up left down where's the right up this is right down and right up and again this one should be center up a o c, -C u a o c d this should be center down similarly this corner also center down center up now if I change this one back to idle it should be alright see now we have the complete um, aim offset asset right okay now let's add this 
to our animation blueprint where should it go uh, let's add it here before the default slot is applied so that if I play some montage it uh, the same offset part will be overridden which is good alpha I'll keep as one so to test what if I make this one 90 see characters look in that way okay now we need to make this dynamic so for that I'll promote this yo as a parameter do I already have them no and pitch as a parameter default value should be zero now in the event graph right we have we need a reference to phone and this has already become a mess we need to clean this up okay uh, without making this a further mess I'll add a reroute node here and another reroute node here select both and collapse update AO parameters AO stands for aim offset I'll name this one as the ball right now from this phone upon reference we can get there is a function called get base aim rotation if you go about that you it shows the tool tip return the aim rotation for the pawn so that means uh, yeah the eyes direction uh, by default we aim at the player's eyes direction so when we have a controller assigned for this particular character it will give us the rotation that represents the direction we are looking through the camera and also we can get at uh, rotation and this basically gives the rotation of the actor and by doing a delta operation between this uh, am rotation and the actor rotation so this uh, kind of like a subtraction but uh, not like a float subtraction basically it gives the difference and we can split this so using the uh, from this difference we can now get access uh, pitch and your differently so using these values I'll set your and pitch don't need this part now and compile and save all now let's go here and test see now when I look at this way character turns like this this way character turns like that and if I look up character is looking upward but it's not clear as I'm looking at the face is not visible and if I look down character is looking down like this so if I completely try to turn this way character just looks forward because that's the way we have set up the aim offset if I look up now character is looking up 
in the forward direction if I look down character is looking down all right so now let's see what happens if we see even if I am walking character keep looking at the desired direction like that okay so with that we can stop this episode right here what if we crouch still it works see great and yeah let's check a situation where a montage is played uh, so by the montage that look at part should be over in let's check so I'll move while see that uh, landing part is played from a montage so when that montage is played character looks forward that's exactly what I want to happen otherwise it would look kind of unrealistic all right let's check the falling down part as well okay when in the ragdoll mode character is not looking and it starts to look at the directions once it stands up all right so with that I would like to stop this episode right here and thanks for watching so the project files will be available for the download through the patron page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club thanks for watching see you in another episode goodbye